You know, when thinking about my journey coming through different shops and stuff, I was always different. I was always aggressive and not everybody accepted that. I'd work at huge companies and I would, I would drop runtime and I'd have perfect programs. And my boss would come up and say, Titan, that is an incredible program. You just went from 40 minutes down to 20 minutes and you're killing it. That's awesome. But when the night shift comes in, can you put it back at 40 minutes because it's safer? And I was like, I can actually double these feed rates and still put out a perfect part. But because the person supervising me had never experienced that type of productivity, they were timid and they were scared and they took the safe route. I worked for many companies that couldn't find my groove, but through all of it, I refused to drop my standard. From day one, I was all about workmanship, efficiency and productivity. Right, putting out perfect parts that never came back because they met spec. And even though I bounced from company to company for a while, during that process, I built a reputation in the industry for the problems that I had solved. And therefore, my brand kept going higher. And then one day, when the doors opened for me to have my own shop, I had the reputation in place, not only to get the work, but also to get the funding for the machines and the tools and the building needed to start my own company. This trade is massive. Reputation is everything. Relationships is everything. And chances are, this is not gonna be the last place that you actually machine at. So here's the word. No matter what type of boss you work for, no matter what type of coworkers you work with, keep the faith, keep the hope. Don't compromise your workmanship. Always look to serve all that you work with. Always look for the extra projects. And always look to excel in every project that you're given. As a worker, as an employee, you have a personal brand. And it's important that you stay true to yourself. You know, there's a term, negativity breeds negativity, positivity breeds positivity, right? Look at yourself and think, what can you bring to the table to actually inspire others, to inspire your boss, to do what it takes. You know, here's something else that I'll say, and it's, it's very practical. Have good communication. You know, don't always think that it's your boss that needs to come talk to you, or it's your boss that needs to do everything. You never know what's going on in their lives and what they're going through, right? So if the opportunity arises, take it upon yourself to actually go to your boss and have conversations. Let them know like, hey, I'm learning here. I want to see the team do good. And let them know about the different ideas you have, the different tools that you have, the processes. And don't just be like, hey, buy me this tool and buy me those fixtures and buy me this and buy me that. That doesn't work. Instead, come to the person and say, hey, this job is running and this is the time. I've done some studies and if we actually change this tool, we can save this amount of minutes per part, which will generate this amount of extra money, which will generate this type of savings. So if we switch to this tool, we'll make this amount of money, which will be good for the company because you make them look good. You make the company more money. You make yourself look good. You build a relationship through that communication and it's just a win-win all the way around. So no matter who you are, whether you're a CEO, a programmer, an operator, a setup person, you're in shipping, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you get the fact that life is a long process. It is a journey and you're at a certain level and we're all at different levels. So wherever you're at, make sure that you put the time in. Make sure that you lift up the other employees. Make sure that you're a pillar for that company. And even if your boss mistreats you, even if your boss doesn't pay you, continue to serve that company to the best of your ability. Life is about seasons and levels. And if you do the right thing, doors have a way of opening, right? You never know what coworker goes to another shop that needs somebody just like you. You just never know what's behind that closed door. 